thank you, DJ. That's what I need right there. Just carry that right along. Carry that right along. Wow, speaking of COVID-19, guys, I was out in Connecticut recently at the casino. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, Connecticut, they're getting real crafty with these face coverings, guys. Real, real creative. I saw a guy in the slot area with something that looked like he had um, snatched off his old lady. You know that little coochie cotton patch right in the middle of the, the nylons? Yeah, he had that right over his nose and his, his, his mouth. You know, just enough to cover up things for regulatory purposes. You know, nothing, nothing major. But I couldn't help but think to myself, well, isn't this just like a man finding any excuse possible to just sit there and fuck up the mortgage money you do? Like, row, row, just one swing at a time. And there's his wife standing there. Win it, Jimmy, win it. Two steps off homelessness. Nobody knows what the hell happened to that couple. It's crazy. Another thing that's really crazy is dating guys during the pandemic. Huh? That takes guts. I'm going to tell you, some of these people are getting some real serious passes with these masks. You know, I thought, hey, you know what? Pandemic, we got a vaccine now, but back then, you know, we were really kind of struggling through it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to see how I can live through this. So I started talking to a guy, you know, doing the social distance thing, trying to be respectful, you know, and follow the rules. And I was talking to this cat for three weeks where I realized he didn't have any teeth. Seriously. That's a problem, guys. That's a problem. Ladies, gentlemen, please, all of us, get the information. Ask all the critical questions. So, like, when you start talking about dental appointments and hygiene and they start getting quiet, run! Just get the hell out of there. Just take off right then and there. That's, that's a sign. <laughs> it really is. That's a sign. Wow, dating. Uh, I noticed that younger guys have been interested in me. And, uh, you know, initially I was just kind of like, well, I don't, I don't really know about that because I have some young adult children at home. So I was like, that would be kind of tacky. You know what I mean? But they have to keep my mind open because, again, I am single and I don't want to be single my whole life. So I was like, you know what? I'm a lady and I have some rules. So dating younger men is not bad. You just have to be at least five years older than my oldest child. You know, I mean, it's... That's a fair request to ask. I just don't want to go through social media, right, and yearbooks and see you posted up with my babies. That would just, <laughs> that would be wrong, okay? That would, that would be bad. I don't, I don't want to R. Kelly anybody. You know, I don't want that smoke. You know, I don't want those problems. Uh, young people, I love young people. I do, just as long as they don't belong to me. I struggle with some of the millennials, though. I mean, it's... It's serious. The girls, girls, girl. I don't know what happened. We graduated from the bedroom to the boardroom and big dick energy just went up in our DNA in all the wrong places. I mean, everybody wants to be the man in the relationship. Just can't be. But you fellas, oh, you fellas take the cake. I am having a serious problem with your wardrobe choices. The man bun. Huh? The satchel? How does your purse get to be bigger than mine? I mean, uh, and then them damn skinny jeans. The skinny jeans, really? I mean, that is just wrong. I do believe I'm going to snap, guys. I'm going to completely snap if I see a full-grown man with a bad case of moose knuckle. You know what I'm talking about. Ball sack just snatched up and divided like the Deep South in 1963. You got the right wing versus left wing. There's a whole political party in your pants. Get it together. Political fact, please Google this audience, please Google this. It is a known fact that men born today are born with 50% less sperm than their grandparents. Yeah, I'm gonna let that settle in. And then I'm gonna act surprised as to why that is. AKA skinny jeans are us. Huh? Poor sperm are up in there like I'm a star. Give us free. <laughs> Out of control. We will get it together. I have faith. The movement will proceed. I don't know. I do believe that's my time, but I will be back for another session. So I'm going to give you back to your host, Cedric. <laughs>